Hi, my name is Jose Montes and I'm the quality manager here at Campania International. Um, today we have a FT76 Passaros fountain in front of us and we have already managed to level the basin in the area where we're going to place it and uh, you can see display the components that come with this fountain. You have the water feature, the basin, those are the only two pieces and a pump kit which includes the pump some materials needed to assemble the pump and the tubing, long kink. Now we're going to proceed and assemble the pump kit. Now we have the correct pump for, uh, for our fountain and we have checked our instructions and we're going to proceed with putting the cable through the uh, hole provided in the basin. Lift the basin. And there is a channel underneath the basin that would allow the cable to sit under the basin without making it on level. That's good, that's good right there. And we set it back. We leave enough uh, room, enough cable so that we can work with the uh, with the pump if, if we need to. And now we can proceed with putting the stopper to seal our hole. When we do this, first thing we want to do is leave a little bit of room from the hole. Take the putty around the cable. Once I have wrapped it around, I will take my stopper and wrap the cable, letting the, the putty just go over the slit of the stopper. And also make sure that the narrow part of that stopper is towards the bottom so that it fits into the coupling. Then we go around our stopper just like that and then we use this little excess to put it inside the slit Now we're going to proceed to pull down and get that stopper right in there. This one is pretty easy to push in with the fingers, but you can also use a screwdriver to get it in completely if you feel like it. Then you take the remainder of the putty and use it to see, go around the cable one more time on the top surface and over that slit. Make sure that that is completely sealed. We don't want any water drain through here. With that, we have placed our stopper. And now, we can take our tubing. The, the pumps usually have a control um, that you get a dial that you can use if you want to less water output if you want to control the output of the water but at the same time if that's not enough you can always you always get an extra clamp that you use to put it on the tubing in the middle and if you need to close it down to control the water flow you can do that as well. Then we take our next clamp and then put it on the end of the tubing. Put it right over the pump, all the way to the end. And make it nice and tight. Now the ears might come off occasionally. If they do, 
use it. If you lose it, you can always use a screwdriver as well. There you go. This one is our restrictor clamp. And then we're going to put this one on our water feature. All right, now um, we have made sure that our fountain, our basin is leveled. We check in the cross sections to make sure that it's completely leveled. And then we're ready to place our water feature. Put the clamp on the tubing, on top of the tubing. And then we look for that copper pipe. And then just make a hand type. And then there's three supports on the basin that will allow for the water feature to sit. And you can even put your fingers in between. Just be careful <clears throat> because it is still concrete. All right, now we're ready to put some water in the fountain. And we want to check for the levelness of the water feature one more time. We have added water to our fountain now and uh, we have made sure that it's level. Remember that we give you wedges with every pump kit in case you need them to make the, the top features level, uh, leveled. Also you could do it on the basin, it's up to you. Check for levelness and now we're ready to run the fountain. That is your FT76 Passaros fountain running. And we have similar fountains like this. It will be a similar setup to this one that we have just done.